menopause what is it is it a one time event how long does it last for so menopause marks the end of the reproductive career for a woman it's not a one time event it's not that one fine morning you get up and you realize that you have attained menopause it's a journey a journey which starts with certain unpleasant physical symptoms and ends with a complete cessation of menstrual periods for a whole year the term menopause is applicable only when you don't have periods for a whole long year now before that it's called the perimenopause now the timeline is a little overlapping and i understand it's a bit confusing also so today i dr sudesh nare would talk about menopause and try to make it appear a little simpler menopause is a phase of life it's not a one time event it is gradual it is not sudden and it involves certain changes which is which are which can be physical uh, in forms of um, outside changes or it can be internal in form of metabolic changes when is menopause likely to happen in a woman's life now natural menopause can happen any time between 45 to 55 years of age the world average age for menopause is about 51 years uh, in india the average age of menopause is about 46 years perimenopause or the time period around menopause can begin as early as about 3 to 4 years before the actual menopause sets in if one has a uh, menopause in the early 40s it can be called as an early menopause if one has menopause before 40 it's called a premature menopause if one has a menopause suddenly after a surgery like a removal of the uterus and the ovaries then it's called a surgical menopause now it's important to know these various age landmarks for menopause because the management of menopause or, or menopause or how you tackle it varies with each type of menopause what can be the likely symptoms of perimenopause and menopause one period pattern changes this can be in form of skipping months or it can be too frequent uh, you might have prolonged bleeding during periods you might have very heavy bleeding you might also have pre and post menstrual spotting now around menopause this is the commonest cause of menstrual abnormalities but a very small percentage of these can also be a warning sign of precancer or cancer so please do not ignore these symptoms assuming that it is all perimenopausal please see your gynecologist and seek expert advice two hot flushes hot flushes are also a very very common symptom of menopause it actually starts by, uh, with a feeling of extreme heat in the upper chest and face and then it spreads throughout the body and it lasts for about 3 to 4 minutes uh following that there can be profuse sweating palpitations and anxiety this affects almost 60 to 80% of the women around menopause other symptoms are the minor symptoms such as breast pain easy fatigue easy fatigability then there might be a feeling of loneliness or emotional super sensitivity there might be sleep disturbances uh, you might feel disinterested in your routine work and you might also notice some kind of vaginal dryness you will also see or notice a fat deposition a queer fat deposition around your waistline tummy and hips now what actually changes after menopause now the two most important and the imperative changes that happen after menopause is that you go don't get periods and two you you cannot get pregnant naturally apart from this nothing changes you don't stop being a woman you don't stop being a mortal human being with your sexual desires you can still have a libido and have good sex enjoy good sex you can still remain as beautiful as you are always what changes actually is that the protection of the hormonal umbrella is taken off so your risk of bone thinning your risk of heart problems or brain aging becomes almost similar 
to that of a man in these issues. Now, how do I tackle menopause naturally? Mainly and mainly by acceptance. Different milestones in our lives comes with their own share of physical and emotional changes. Menopause is just another such a phase. It's best to accept it gracefully. It's best to accept gracefully the imperfections that it brings along with it uh, in our body shape, in our skin, in our overall energy. Understand that this is natural. Take this as a reminder for a healthier lifestyle in form of diet and exercise. Now, it's a good idea to discuss whatever you, uh, whatever you are going through with your family, with your uh, partner or with other members in the family so that you can get the optimum support from them. And in the lifestyle, there can be certain changes like you can reduce your coffee and tea consumption. You can, uh, you need to quit smoking. You need to restrict your alcohol consumption. It's a good idea also to go to bed and wake up at the same time. And your exercise routine should be a mix of cardio, core and strength training. Now, when do I have to take medications? When the symptoms worsen to the extent of disturbing or disrupting your daily activities, when it's affecting your relationships, when you're affecting your work productivity, it's time to consider medications. What are the side effects that I might expect with these medications with these menopausal medications now medications for menopause has to be closely supervised and only under an expert guidance talk to your gynecologist about your options about the various hormonal as well as non-hormonal options talk to her or him and understand whether you really need them if given wisely and if given under close supervision they actually cause no harm. There are no dangerous side effects provided that they are given under close supervision and strict follow-up and exactly for the time period that it is prescribed for. With the life expectancy going higher, women are spending a lot of their life, a big part of their life after menopause. So take it as a beginning of a beautiful, peaceful phase of life where you can actually be with people and purpose that you think is important. So be happier and healthier than ever before. Thank you. For any further consultations, please write to me at drsudeshnakares at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.